Talk about the challenge, Kevin, of having the idea that there may not be a season, but at the same time preparing yourself as if there will be. Well, you have to be professional. You know, I think everybody in their own right um, looked at it like, you know, if we don't have a year, then that's what it is. But if we do, you got to be ready. Um, I don't think you can just take a couple of days to get ready. <laughs> That was my mindset. As okay. one of the veterans on this team, Kevin, you've seen the lockout firsthand before. Now, talk about that experience and how it helped shape your approach to dealing with this one. Um, you know, experience is everything. You go through something once. Um, you know, obviously, I was younger when we went through the first lockout. Um, but the second time, I was a lot more um, prepared, not just uh, mentally, but I was prepared, you know, from a business standpoint to understand the business of basketball and how it's run, um, understanding negotiating, um, understanding timing, understanding tactics, understanding the tricks and the BS to come with all of it, and the patience. Do you think Understood, that's... Uh, go ahead. Do you, do you think that's still going on? I mean, if the NBA labor negotiations are supposed to be over, everything's supposed to be all sweet and everybody looking forward to the season, but... The league seemed to be in the worst spot than it was when you guys were negotiating. Yeah, yeah. It's up in the air, man. It's what it is. But we are dealing with it, and we're all figuring it out. And uh, it's, you know, it's going to be in a period to where everybody's adjusting. And that's what we need. Ray just said, uh, KG, that he feels rushed. Do you feel rushed in trying to get back on the court, get back in, in ultimate uh, game condition and ready for the season? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, I think what you see, we're in a rushed league right now. You know, everybody's paying attention to the Chris Paul situation. Um, I don't know why everybody's shocked. I think Stearns has been pretty adamant about, you know, when he wants to do things and how he does things. And now, you know, everybody has a voice about it or have an opinion about it. Um, but, yeah, um, timing is everything. And chemistry is something that you just don't throw in a frying pan and mix it up with another something and throw something on top of that and then fry it up. Put it in a tortilla, put it in the microwave, <laughs> heat it up, and give it to you and expect it to taste good. Right. You know? <laughs> For those who can cook, <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. If not, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, you can't cook, then this doesn't concern you. <laughs> they are going to be very difficult. Um, you don't usually play 16 games until like late, I think uh, February, maybe even March, and now to start that off. Um, this year will be, we test everybody's endurance and their willingness. Um, this will be you know, more physical, obviously more, excuse me, more mental than physical. Um, but, you know, Doc, we have a lot of countless conversations with him about this year. Um, but again, we're dealing with limited time um, with, major, with major issues to uh, be resolved. And uh, like I said, we're all in this kind of uh, this weird period of uh, transition, and everybody's going to have to adjust to it.